It is a warm July morning in 1984 as we see a southbound empty coal train on the approach to Cairnbrook, Pennsylvania on Conrail South Fork Secondary. The train is designated as WACO 4, which is a local crew based out of Kahnema. The train was built and originated at the start of the branch about three hours ago and has traversed the line south at 15 miles per hour. This unit train is heading for the Laurel Mine Loadout, located a few miles southwest of Central City, Pennsylvania. The Conrail documentation shows the Laurel Mine listed on track charts and zone maps. The Laurel Mine is located on a short spur that leaves the South Fork Secondary just south of Cairnbrook, Pennsylvania. The spur heads south and west to a balloon track where the tipple is located. The spur curves away from the South Fork Secondary, westward at 90 degrees, crosses over a local county road at grade, and then after a little bit of flat running, begins a nearly 3% climb to a high fill at the other end of this field. The track then crosses Monument Road on an overpass and continues running nearly flat till the tipple at the end of the balloon track. Our train is passing the ABL sign, which stands for Approach Block Limit, as it's coming up on the Cairn Block Limit Station. It is passing the Loyal Hanna number 6 loadout. The empty and load yards for the tipple are seen at the right. Crossing signals protect McGregor Avenue crossing as the local continues south. As the train enters the Laurel Mine Spur, the neighborhood is made aware of its presence by the Leslie Airhorn blowing for the crossing. The front end of the train begins to climb a grade while the helper engines at the rear of the train are leaving the main track. A long high fill continues to carry the railhead enough to reach elevation for the plateau on which the tipple stands.
A small bridge carries the track above Monument Road as the grade crests and flattens out for the remaining trek to the mine. A few minutes later, they arrive at the switch that starts the end and the beginning of the balloon track arrangement. After a slow crawl under the tipple and nearly half of the cars being loaded, the front end of the train meets the rear helper engines near the switch. A couple of dozen cars more finish up the loading process and the end of the train passes under the tipple. With several thousand tons of coal in tow, the six GP38s on the front end began the fight to get the tonnage up to speed. The northbound trek with loads is mostly downhill for the next 10 miles or so. Here we see the train entering the South Fork Secondary at the switch just south of Cairnbrook.
With the crew nearing their end of the hours of service, they will only progress as far as the block limit station Cairn and begin end of block near the McGregor Avenue crossing. Having tied down their train, the crew awaits a relief van that will bring them back to Southport. 